Hi, do you want to learn Python? You've come to the right place. I'm going to give you a review of a super popular course, actually a specialization, offered on Coursera. It was made by a professor from the University of Michigan called Charles Russell Severance, or in short, Dr. Chuck. And if there is anybody in this world who can teach a complete beginner to code in Python, then he is the one. That is why it is called Python for everybody. Courses in the specialization will take you from complete beginner step by step. What you will learn is getting started with Python, Python data structures, using Python to access web data that is scrape, parse and read web data, then using databases with Python, and retrieving, processing and visualizing data with Python. Coursera offers 7 day free trial, then it is 43 euros per month. There are many free courses out there. The course materials are also available free on the pi4e.com. Here you have all the lessons and all the materials and a free book. Are you asking me why would you then enroll in the Coursera site then? Well, as said, nowadays all the materials are more or less available somewhere on the internet. It is scattered all over. The main thing that will benefit you if you take the specialization like this is the ability to get support, to interact on forums and to get your work reviewed. Also, you will be able to review other people's code. There is no better way to learn than by helping other people. And the specialization is designed in a way to encourage this. I was positively surprised on the delivery of the instructor. He makes you feel calm and confident. And his explanations are super simple. And that is what makes a great teacher. The ability to explain concepts in a super simple manner. And that is what Dr. Chuck does. He does not use fancy words and terminologies. Instead, he explains in a super simple way, as I would explain to my little kid. And that is how I like somebody to explain things to me. Do not try to be smart. Do not try to sound complicated. The more you simplify it for me, the sooner I will get it. And the sooner I will be able to go to more complicated stuff. Too bad there were no courses like that when I got started. It would be so much easier. Installation guide is super cool. You have instructions for Windows and Mac. Perfect. Assignments are super easy. In a week three, you write your first Hello World, which is super slow for someone who knows a bit about computers and programming. It is designed for the beginner. So the explanations are really simplified. It is how I would like to be introduced to programming. At week four, you start with variables and expressions. And the explanations are really nice. As the course says, for everybody. But as said, maybe those of you who know a bit about computers and programming, this will be too slow for you. But you don't have to wait for the next week to start with the next week's videos and assignments. You can speed it up to suit yourself. Or take it slower if needed. In week five, you start with conditions. For each assignment, you will need to confirm that you are not using someone else's code. I'm not sure why you need to confirm every time. Why not just once? Were there really so many people cheating and using someone else's code? Why would you even want to do that? Did you not come here to learn? And interviews are a nice addition to the course, although they are a bit old. Later on, you'll find out he does not only do the interviews. He is a super funny guy who does some crazy stuff, like ride a racing bike, sing on stage with a band, and meet students all over the world. Also, his lectures have hidden humor all over them, and that makes these courses fun. Python data structures are where it gets more interesting and challenging. You will start with strings and you will install Python on your computer. Those of you who don't have a good computer, you can also use their online editor. But if you plan to be a programmer, you will need to install it on your computer and work there. It's like learning to drive. You can learn at a driver's school, but you will need a car after you finish. Then you proceed with working with files, opening it and looping through its content. And then you will get familiar with Python data structures, that is lists, dictionaries and tuples. After taking this course, you will be ready for doing your first real program, 
which will be covered in the next course, that is the using Python to access web data. This is a super useful program. Many times you want to be able to read information from other people's pages or access some APIs. APIs? Yes, you will learn about the APIs and web scraping. APIs is something you will be very likely programming in your development job. It is a way how software communicates with each other, how it exchanges data. So a super exciting topic to learn. Topics like regular expressions, sockets, and how network works, spiders and web services are things that you will be most likely working on daily as a web developer. XML is a bit obsolete, but still okay to be familiar with. Most web services nowadays use JSON to format data. And JSON is of course also covered in the course. I like how Dr. Chuck, the instructor, explains the service-oriented approach and APIs with an airline example, so that you can imagine how things really work. The next course in Python specialization is using databases with Python. You'll learn the basic SQL commands and use SQLite 3 for the database. SQLite is, as the name suggests, a lightweight database. It would not be for a high-traffic website or a client-server applications. For that, you would need a database like Postgres, for example. But it is great to learn it. Perfect for a beginner and smaller apps. First, you will get familiarized with object-oriented programming in Python. It's an interesting comparison to compare object to islands. Never heard it described like that. So what makes a great teacher is the ability to explain concepts in a super simple manner. And this is what the course does. He does not use fancy words and terminologies. Instead, he explains in a way my parents would also understand. Next week, you go to SQL and relational databases. Again, explanations are great. I miss him mentioning that also NoSQL databases exist and that they are very popular, of course used in different projects. But maybe it is better to cover less and that in a good way. In the week two, you will use useful example of counting email occurrences in a database table. You will create a table, read from a txt file, and then add email to the table if it does not exist yet, or increment count if it does already exist. Each week, he travels to different locations to meet with his students. This week, he was in Croatia, super close to my home. Too bad I did not know then. In the week three, you will be discovering relations between data. Here is where SQL databases shine, in querying data that is related to each other. You will do another example with music tracks and artists and albums. This is connected information and you will learn how to query it with joins. Then you go to a little more complicated relations, many to many. For example, many users can take many courses. One user can enroll in many courses, and one course has many users. That is many to many connections. And that is the example you will be working on. Examples are just complex and just simple enough. But more exercises would be beneficial. But I guess you know that this is just the beginning of the journey. This course will give you a great insight and an overview. Then you will be confident to go into more complex examples and projects. And last week will be fun. You will do a visualization. You'll use Google API to show the data in the map. This week you will see how it all goes together. You're going to retrieve data from the network, you're going to process the data, you're going to store it in the database, and you're going to then write it out and visualize it. He will explain how a multi-step data analysis is done in real-world apps, with the knowledge that you are familiar now with. And with this, you end this course. The next one goes deeper into the subject of retrieving, processing, and visualizing data with Python. And this is where it will be fun. You will build a search engine, spider, and model email data, and you will visualize email data. This course encourages you more to connect with other students, share and review code. So an experience that tries to emulate work experience. You also get a free book that you can use as a reference. And you will get a sample code you can play with. He will show you a page rank visualization, a page rank for websites, 
and you will be able to play with it. You will find your own data resources and parse the data. The cool thing is having a possibility to interact with other students, and your project will be reviewed and graded by the instructor, and you will be active in discussion forums, and see the results from other students. And in the week 4, you will do another project. You will download, process, and visualize email data from an open source project, an email participation by organization, like this. The last course is a great way to finish this specialization. If you create your own visualization, it will give you a confidence boost. What I like about this course is that the instructor just seems so friendly, and the explanations are good. The materials are easy to follow and delivered in a very friendly and engaging manner. I highly recommend this course to anyone just getting started in programming. I did not like at the beginning the suggested choice of editors. They suggest Spider, which is okay, but I prefer PyCharm. And they also suggest using Notepad++. I cannot imagine debugging without a proper idea. Adam is not the best choice neither. It is fundamental to software developers to be able to step through your code line by line, set breakpoints, and easily examine variables and values as they change. The course was a bit easy, as it should be, since its intention is to teach Python to everybody. For the user with a little bit of background, only the last course would be more fun and a little bit challenging. The professor is passionate about Python and enthusiastic about sharing his knowledge. He's engaging in the online lectures and makes you feel super calm, as you can do it. I would be confident to enroll my mother into this class. My mother only uses the internet for Facebook and recipes, but I'm sure Dr. Chuck would know how to teach her. I also love the ebook he provided along with this course. Down here I have a link to the course. If you click on the link, I will get a super small fee. I thank you for supporting me. The biggest challenge I see in many students is that they give up too soon. There are so many resources out there, and you already have a long to-do list. I'm a mentor. I help web developers navigate the sea of resources, and I help them reach goals by helping them choose the right learning path. I can be your accountability partner and a cheerleader when you get stuck. I also teach how to solve problems and be more effective. If you want me to be your guide on your development journey, you can contact me. I will provide my contact information in the description below. I will pick the few most determined students that I will guide on their way. I can give you more information in a discovery call. See the link below. Anyways, I would highly recommend Coursera's Python specialization for everybody who wants to get into programming. Python is the most demanded language around, and a super choice for beginners. The difficulty is just about right, more on the easy side, but it will surely help you to progress with coding. So wait no longer, click the link below and start learning Python.